Give me a second, I'll get out of your way, buddy. Oh, that's all right. That's all right, take your time. Heck yeah, someone over there knows me. Okay, no, it's just a uh, just a nice person. Hell yeah. What's your name? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. Hey, hey, Becca. There we go. Hey, Becca. Okay. <laughs> All right, come on, Mozart's Coffee Roasters. Make some noise if you're having a good time. Come on, make it loud back here. Yeah. <clears throat> you guys are really cool. Uh, so. I just watched the first episode of that new Dahmer docu- uh, like docudrama. Ugh, yeah. I do not like how much I look like that guy. Holy shit. <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> or rather, fuck him. Someone should have... <clears throat> no, but also, he made it really hard for those nice boys. That's a... Uh, sorry. <laughs> It was a little too real. That was hard. It is a hard. It's such a sad show. I don't want to say anything more about it because I think that's the only funny thing I've thought to say about it. <sighs> yeah, but there was a there was a guy who heckled me uh, the, the other night on Sunday night. He said, "You look like a Gen Z Jeffrey Dahmer," and I said, "Jeffrey Dahmer? Is that because you want me to eat you, asshole? First, you fucking." <laughs> they thought it was funny then. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I know it's a different crowd here. It's not a comedy club. It's not a bunch of degenerate piss pots, you know, <laughs> gathered in one area. <laughs> you guys have been. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, ah, say something mean. <laughs> uh, cool. I started substitute teaching this year. <laughs> oh, please don't make any noise for me. I do it for the money. <laughs> A lot of, it, I mean, that job can be very challenging, can be very fun, but first day, oh my god, total chaos, kids wouldn't be quiet, they're telling me to suck their dick to my face, huh, is that really what you want, Carlos, don't tighten up on me now, you fucking, I did the Dahmer shit, we're already past that, <laughs> we're already, co- shit, fuck, is that what you want, Carlos, huh, I know what's in the news, I know what I look like, I fit the profile, Okay, so I guess it's just too much that I look both like a serial killer and a child molester. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Don't be uncomfortable. I'm making jokes at my expense right now. Don't be selfish and not laugh. Fuck you, people. (laughs) Fuck you. All the way to hell and back. Thank you. Uh, Yeah, because I have been... (laughs) I am carrying the curse of the millennial white man, which is to be thought of as creepy all the time, which is... (laughs) Also, who fucking cares? Like, <laughs> I could get a better job than that if I wanted. <laughs> I just like telling jokes. So, uh, who's making bad financial decisions now, <laughs> Mr. Credit Score? Yeah, me. <laughs> yeah. I do like telling jokes. I appreciate some of you were fucking with that. I, it was extemporaneous honesty, and uh, that's hard to do up here. I was just trying to tell you about substitute teaching, which... Yeah, uh, there was this one kid in, in one of my classes. He was a, like, he was a pretty funny kid, uh, but he was also like uh, kind of verbally outbursting all the time. He'd just say what's going through his head, just total, yeah. Uh, and he was also a little bit on the chunkier side. And uh, th- this class was really cool because he just blurted out, I'm a skeleton, as he is wont to do. And I said, uh, there is nothing about you that's like a skeleton, Anthony. There's no- <laughs> Yeah. That was a good moment, substitute teaching. Those kids were really cool. I didn't lose my job that day. <laughs> um, yeah, but you can't say anything to kids these days. You can't. <sighs> Stop talking about kids, Derek. You've already been... <laughs> All right, I'm going to do some different material for you guys. Do you guys want to play... What? No, it's too early for that. got to make you comfortable. I was going to plant salvia in my psychedelic garden. Didn't have that mushroom. Aha, that was so cute. That was so cute. Thank you. <laughs> Kim Jong-un has been telling the people of North Korea for decades that he can't poop. I think he's full of shit. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) All right, do you guys want to play a game? Fuck yeah. This game requires audience participation. It's called Sex With Me. (laughs) Again, don't be uncomfortable. These are jokes. (laughs) Khaleesi, I I need you to, like, cleanse my aura or something because I'm giving off the wrong vibes right now. She's just looking away. Jesus Christ. You, you spun all that bullshit about, like, we're all one together living your stardom. You won't even, like, get, acknowledge my presence right now. I get it. You're uncomfortable. But please, 
help me dig me out of this hole that I've, I've made for myself. All right, I'll tell you guys about the game. Dig yourself out of it. Uh, thank you, thank you. I'm just, I, I'm looking for life preserving. You know, ah, oh, shit, okay, this is the first time a patio of white people will beat the shit out of somebody after something. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, the way this game works, Sex With Me, is you guys uh, will say things from the audience, and I'll say, Sex With Me is like that thing for this reason. So go ahead and let her rip. Sorry I took all those risks with the substitute teaching and the Jeffrey Dahmer stuff. Can we put that in our past? I'm just a person. <laughs> all right, so go ahead and throw, throw one out here. Come on. Sandpaper. Oh, sandpaper. Thank you. Sex with me is like sandpaper because it's very dry. I'm sorry. It's very dry. <laughs> Sex with me is like sandpaper because it's uh, the small, they're granules, and it's uncomfortable. Sex with me is like sandpaper because <laughs> I put about as much energy into home improvement as... <laughs> All right. Nobody's dad had a tool shed growing up. Let's have one more. Let's have one more. Taxes. Taxes. Gotcha. Uh, sex with me is like taxes because nobody wants to do them. <laughs> Thank you. I'm making myself the sexual heel of this. Yeah, you guys didn't know that I was into wrestling. Ah, oh, my name is the <laughs> Boner Terminator. <laughs> All right. Uh, sex with me is like taxes because uh, the, the thing you'll want to do afterwards is die. Death and taxes, death and taxes. Okay, never mind. Uh, all right, let's have one more. Let's have another one. Yeah. Huh? Jellyfish. Oh, gotcha. Um, <laughs> sex with me is like the is like jellyfish because you need to bounce on the tops. They will not sting you. I just watched Finding Nemo. Excuse me. Uh, sex with me is like jellyfish because yeah, you'll be left with the stinging sensation. There you go. Oh. I, I'm, yeah, I know. I know. I do make women cringe a lot. I'm fighting for my life up here. I hope that you know that. <laughs> I'm going to hang myself. Okay, no, I'm not going to. It's fine. Uh, uh, sex with me is like jellyfish. Because <laughs> it's salty, it's squishy, and no one wants to get close to it. There we go, there we go. This, this is my fault. Okay, gotcha. Se okay, water. Uh, sex with me is like water because it's for boring people. Let's face it, it's for boring people. <laughs> I'm saying only boring people would be attracted to me because I'm such a dull guy. Uh, okay. uh, sex with me. Sex with me is like water because it'll never get you fucked up. It never will. Pancakes. Pancakes. Appreciate it. Uh, sex with me is like pancakes because I never have them, but it's my favorite breakfast. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, that's fine. You don't. Want to, okay, guys. Yo, oh, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, Becca. Give it up for Becca one more time. Make it loud for Mozart's Coffee Roasters. Keep it going for your hosts. One more time for your baristas. Make sure you tip them well. Even Khaleesi, I fucking love all you guys. Have a good night. My name is Derek Dimple. Uh, don't say the things that I said tonight, or people will not like you. Hell yeah, good night. Derek Dimple, everybody. Right now, we'd like to welcome Zoe Ferd to the stage.